Hey what's going on gang and welcome to your very first WebSockets tutorial. Alright so what are WebSockets? Well basically they're a way to communicate between a client, the browser and a server and this communication is bi-directional and that basically means that data can flow in both ways. So it can flow from the client to the server and also from the server to the client. Now because these web sockets are always open that allows for real-time data flow in our application. So this is all really cool but what does it mean in a real world example? Well I want you to imagine we have this kind of chat application which is hosted on this server right here. So all these different clients right under here are different people around the world in their browser and they all go to whatever.com to request this chat application in their browser. So now they're all viewing it in their browser. Now say one person, John over here, he types something into this chat and click send, then that message is gonna instantaneously be updated in all of these different clients around the world that are viewing that chat as well. That's how chats work, right? So this is WebSockets in action, but what's going on? Well, when we first request the chat application, okay, in the browser, we get that chat application back, but also at the same time, what we're doing is we're opening up this WebSocket between the client and the server. So now we have all of these different clients, all of these different, uh, different browsers around the world, which all have their own WebSocket connection to the server, right? And that means that data can flow back and forth between it in real time, because these are always open, these WebSockets. So now when John actually creates a message and clicks send, what we're doing is sending that message down this WebSocket to the server. The server receives it and then says, hey, this is a chat message. I know what to do with that. I'm going to send it down all these other uh, WebSockets which are connecting to these clients down here to each individual client so that they can see that updated message in their chat. Okay, so the message is getting sent up the WebSocket to the server then the server sends it down each individual WebSocket to all the remaining clients. And that's why they see this message, okay, instantaneously. So I want you to take note here. This data transfer is occurring in real time and we're not using any kind of Ajax request from each of these different clients to request any new data from the server. It's all happening without the client having to make any additional requests at all. So this stuff is really cool and there's tons of different uses for WebSockets, not just chat rooms. And they include making multiplayer, uh, multiplayer browser games, collaborative code editing software, uh, some kind of live text for sports on news websites, online drawing canvases, real time to do apps, etc, etc. There's tons of different uses for WebSockets. Now in this tutorial, we are going to make a simple chat application that looks something like this. So we have it open in two different browsers here. We're connecting to the same server in both instances. And I want you to imagine that instead of these two browsers on my computer, this is two different computers in two different parts of the world because it works exactly the same way. So they're both connecting to this server and they're getting this chat application back in their window, which is some kind of Mario chat. Now, if you've watched enough of my videos, you know I'm a fan of Mario. This is a recurring theme, but anyway, in this chat window, we have an input for a handle, so that's your name, so I'll just say Luigi, and I'll do the other one as well, say Peach, okay? And we also have an input for the message, so I can type a chat here, so I'll say, hey Peach, and notice this, when I'm typing here, I'm getting this Luigi is typing a message over in the other client. So this is WebSockets in action, pretty cool, right? And also, when I click send, then we get the updated message right here to say Luigi has said, hey, Peach, and also over here. So we're using WebSockets to send that data to the server. The server then sends it down to this client and shows it in real time. And we've not made any kind of request from this client to the server at all. It's just open and listening through this WebSocket and receiving data. Likewise, if I type some kind of message in this one, hey, Luigi. Then we also see this Peach is typing a message over here and click send. Same happens. We get the message over here using WebSockets as well as over here instantaneously, really quick in real time. OK, so that's what we're going to create in this set of tutorials. Now, I want to show you a couple of tools I am going to be using. The first one is Atom, a text editor, completely free and completely cool. So you can download that at atom.io. Also, I'm going to be using CMD or Commander, don't know how to pronounce it, for my command line tool. Again, that is really free, uh, sorry, that is really cool and it's free as well. And now before you start this series, 
you are going to need Node.js installed as well. So you can head to Node.js.org to download that. Just click on this button right here and that's going to download it for you. Walk through the installation steps and then to check whether you have Node installed on your computer, just open your command line tool. This is Commander, which I showed you a minute ago and just type in Node-V. If you've got it installed, it's going to throw back the version number right there. Otherwise it won't. Okay. So make sure you have Node installed. And finally, as always, I'm going to provide you with all of the course files for this series. They can be found on my GitHub repository right here called WebSockets Playlist. I'm going to leave this link down below as well. Each lesson corresponds to a different branch. So just select the lesson that you want and you're going to get the code for that. OK, and you can download it all here. So there is your introduction to WebSockets. Really hope you enjoyed the rest of this playlist. And please, guys, if you do like these videos, please, please, please remember to hit the like button. Maybe even share them if you're feeling generous. And I'm going to see you in the very next video.